I didn't see you there, guys. Bronze back. Uh, I guess I'm reviewing this monitor, but it's one of the best 1440p monitors that you can get right now. And I'm going to do some live demonstration on this monitor and do some gaming. Going to check out to see how the colors are. I mean, just using the eyeball test, right? But going to play some games, going to get some uh, programs installed, and also <clears throat> going to do a little bit of live thing right here. But let's dive into the specs first, and then it's gonna, you can jump to the live uh, testing after that. So here are the specs and it's pretty much got everything that you want. It's 1440p, 170 hertz, really low response time, and it also has really good color accuracy, plus it's also G-Sync compatible. We'll go into that later, but I really liked how the colors looked on this monitor. It was very vibrant and it also matched the color accuracy of the Acer Nitro that I previously reviewed. I also really like the stand, it's minimalistic, way better than the Acer Nitro. But the downside is that it doesn't come with a front facing USB port. So at first glance the colors look really good. I mean it looks just as good as the Acer Nitro which was around 98 dcip3 rating so yeah this has actually pretty good color accuracy i mean you kind of can see every hue of you know the blues reds and greens and it's very detailed at 1440p i mean you can see the mountains and you can even see the sharp edges right here along this corner along the mountain ridge so high resolution great colors and it is 1440p so as you can see, yeah, you can see the jagged edges. That's really awesome to see for a 1440p monitor. And let's get my mouse pad so I can play some games. Let's load up some games. All right, so I'm running this monitor with a 2060 laptop GPU, and this is the Max P version. Something I also, so it is also G-Sync compatible, has, an, has a uh, G-Sync compatible setting that you can enable as well. So, that's great to see and enable settings so it's enabled yep g-sync compatible it's kind of weird but if you check it says selected display is not validated it doesn't matter it's because it does have free sync it's fine and it can uh it does in fact have g-sync so let's exit that so i did test it out a little bit earlier um with call of duty and it, this game plays so amazing on this monitor so guys, if you go to Call of Duty and you enable DLSS, it actually really helps the frame rates on the latest titles that have DLSS. So I set it to performance mode and I also set it to 1440p and the frame rates are ridiculously good. Like I can't believe I got 1440p for a notebook. This is a laptop 2060 GPU that I, I thought it was, I thought you couldn't even reach 1440p, like 120, this gets up to 120 frames per second. And I was blown away. So if you have, that's why, that's why I think Nvidia is still so great because it does have DLSS, but dude, like I have a 2060 GPU laptop GPU and I can reach up to 120 frames per second on 1440p full resolution. Now, let's see how it works on high settings. Nah, let's leave it to medium. Just wanted to show you guys this. So, alright, let's search for a game. Alright guys, back. Just got in a game and... Let's choose the MP5, huh? Wanna see my salty skills? Can't promise I won't just cut to the highlights. I have two beers. I have two beers. Oh, let's heal, let's heal. Two beers and jump. Oh, <laughs> oh no. There's definitely someone there. Ooh. No, I don't want to go there. Wow. Something about Call of Duty, I feel like console players have an advantage with their auto aim. Wow. Uh, let's go get B. 
Domination is my favorite game mode. But wow, the colors are really good. G-Sync works really well, I can tell. I'm getting over 100 frames per second on 2K. 2K FPS. 1440p. There we go. 120 plus frames right now. This monitor is a beast. If you have a 2060 or better, even a 1660 Ti, wait, actually a 1660 Ti does not have DLSS, so if you have a 2060, totally worth it. Headshot. Switch. Two. One more. Throw an eight in there. All right, let's get in here. Ah. But yeah, guys, 1440p gaming is legit. Like, I feel like I'm also almost playing 4K, but, you know, obviously not as quiet, but. Alright, we're totally wrecking this team. So look at that B. Run, run, run. Heal. Alright, you run into that trap. I'm gonna go into the plane. Oh, I see that. It's good to watch out for grenades in Call of Duty. Those are terrible grenades. Stop falling from my trap, guys. Is that a guy right there? No. Oh, that was a cardboard cutout. Alright, help out, help out. There we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Got him. Do you have enough? Oh, did they get C? Alright, well, good defense. Guys, I buy way too much tech, so please help support the channel by liking the video, subscribing to it, and also checking out my Patreon where I post a bunch of tech deals. Like, this is where I found, like, I posted this monitor, which was a great deal at 330 bucks from Best Buy. It has really good specs for what you get. So, overall, it is priced between the LG uh, 1440p monitor and the Acer... Acer Nitro monitor I also reviewed. I'll leave the two links right here, but it's priced $30 more expensive than that one, which at the time I got it on sale for 300. I think that's still the best monitor value that you can get right now. That's 1440p, but this is still a great option because it actually is regularly 330 bucks. And I don't see any other monitor beating that. I think it's still, I think it's the same exact specs as the LG monitor that I keep mentioning and pretty much for a future-proof gaming monitor, you can't go wrong. I also really like the stand and the stand is actually minimal. It doesn't really interfere too much with your desk while the other uh, clunky stand on the Acer Nitro was uh, way too thick for me and I was just like, yo, get out of my desk, bro. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Let's heal, let's heal. Two beers and jump. Oh. <laughs>